Upon finding a book of photographs about an outlaw motorcycle club in the 60s American Midwest, Jeff Nichols instantly recognized it as the coolest thing he'd ever seen his entire life. And 20 years later, he's finally turned that book into the coolest film of the year. My name is Ren, and this is my review of The Bike Riders. Welcome back, film festival fans. Thank you for joining the discussion on my most anticipated film of the festival. Only two days in, but it'll hardly be dethroned as the coolest day of the festival, as Jeff Nichols takes us on a motorcycle ride over the course of the 1960s, as a Midwestern motorcycle club evolves from a gathering place for local outsiders into a more sinister gang, threatening the original group's unique way of life. For you to understand how excited I've been for the bike riders, you need to know Sons of Anarchy is one of my top three TV shows of all time. I connect to stories about loyalty and brotherhood and friendship. And Jeff Nichols finds a way not only to encompass all these themes and storylines and characters that revolve around these ideas, but he finds a way to visually represent the mood of what it is to belong in such a group, to live such a life at such a specific time in America. In a film that is in many ways not at all what I expected it to be, yet simultaneously delivers everything I wanted and needed it to. Jeff Nichols doesn't simply portray a time, a place, and the people living within it. He creates a moody piece where the lifestyle, the time, and the setting themselves are unique characters within his story. This roaring period piece sees Jeff Nichols return to form, helming with lingering focus on character by way of his earnest look at the love and respect from an outsider perspective within a motorcycle club, where the first hour of bike riders, it's slow and moody, but has Nichols comfortably letting us sit with these characters on their day-to-day -day living. The fights, the drinking, the games, the races, the relationships, the welcoming of new members, this is their lifestyle. And he is unafraid about letting us sit with these characters living day to day with them as we're brought into this world by an outsider perspective in Jodie Comer's Kathy, who tells the entire story of this club to a journalist through their highs and their lows. It works flawlessly to have us understand the mentality of what it is like to live in this world and how unique it is a first half that I thoroughly enjoyed. A killer soundtrack, cool people just being cool, and yet I didn't know why, but I struggled to connect with it. That's because Jeff Nichols slowly brings us into this world only to sneak us deeper into the philosophies, the worldviews, and the themes he attempts to approach with these characters. The Bike Riders is an evocative and masculine story of brotherhood, which effortlessly uses with coolness, thanks to the people and the lifestyle it depicts, but also by smartly casting what is essentially the Avengers of sexy method actors. Austin Butler, fully out of his Elvis persona, exhibits a cool intensity all through the film. A man with undying dedication to this club, his home away from home, the place where he feels like he belongs, he owes nothing to anyone, and no one owns anything to him. Tom Hardy, in an excellent turn, so long missed, bears the crushing weight of leadership, perfectly balancing the nuance between swagger and fragility. The relationship between leader and disciple within this unique lifestyle is the heart that palpitates all through the motorcycle engines in this film, but it is not the heart of the story, as Jodie Comer delivers an utterly transformative performance. If you go listen to the recordings of the real-life Kathy giving the interviews depicted in the book, it is uncanny how much she sounds like the real person. She does as phenomenal a job as 
Austin Butler did when he portrayed Elvis. There's a ghost of a person inhabiting Jodie Comer and it's her POV bringing us into this world that allows the layers to be formed us to dig deeper into the themes of loyalty and allows us not only to observe but understand the individual values of the members of this club as well as their own self-imposed sense of masculinity. One that does not allow them to be fragile but one that explains their seeking of solace within the comfort of brotherhood. To experience the bike riders is to know how Jeff Nichols felt reading through the pages, flipping through the pictures of the coolest group of people who defined a quintessential American generation and birthed a subculture preaching freedom and brotherhood. And if, like me, you're a big fan of Sons of Anarchy, all the concepts, ideas, characters, and the lifestyle explored in the bike riders may sound all too familiar because they've also been explored in a seven season show, which I don't doubt was also inspired by this book and these stories. And that's what can make Nichols's film feel all too familiar and maybe even by the book. To me, it doesn't take away from the power of his depiction, his individualism as a director, the way he captures the American Midwest. It's hot and gravelly and dirt stained. The soundtrack creates this mood that immerses you into the entire film. But I can't say it's anything new. I know some people will be put off by its first slow pacing and then actually deep exploration of characters' mentality. It's a sneaky film to watch. Nichols flips a switch and he creates a quintessential American tragedy that I adored while exploring a unique way to criticize the flawed worldviews of this time, this period, this place, and this lifestyle, simultaneously celebrating everything it stands for. But as I always say, the rule of cool trumps all, and there is no cooler film, no cooler direction, characters, or soundtrack in 2023. It may feel lazy to just describe a film as cool, but there's an overwhelming sense of coolness that absorbs you while watching the bike riders. So before I dive into my final thoughts on bike riders, it's time for you to start the conversation about it in the comments below. Let me know how excited you are for the film. If you've read the book, let me know your thoughts on Sons of Anarchy. And if you're enjoying my LFF coverage so far, there's more reviews right up here that I will add as I go through the festival. Or if you just want to talk more movies and TV, this is the place to be. Consider clicking that subscribe button and you won't miss any future conversations on your favorite movies and TV. The Bike Riders oozes cool in every frame. Nichols soulfully captures a time and a way of life to the sound of revving engines and a heart-pumping soundtrack. Lingers on the highs of undying loyalty, the lows of self-destruction, but isn't afraid to sneak deeper to explore individual values, self-imposed masculinity, and the true meaning of brotherhood. I'm giving the bike riders an A-. minus. Thank you so much for watching. Rev up your engines down to the comments below to start the conversation on the bike riders. Big shout out to my channel members for always supporting the channel. And I'll be back very soon with many more reviews from the London Film Festival. So until then, love each other and love the movies.